Hey guys, this is Cassandra Shaw reporting for LA Times High School Insider, and we're here on the set of the Disney Channel show Bunked. I'm standing right here in the middle of Camp Kikiwaka, where summer rules. Let's see what the stars have to say. So what is something you've learned from your time at Jesse that you took and applied to your time here at Bunked? I would say just have more fun with what you're doing. I mean, just because we are working, it is good to be serious sometimes. Yeah. But, you know, just really having a good time with your cast members. And, you know, it doesn't feel like work to me. So I definitely think that has applied to me. I learned so much because when I first started Jesse, I had just turned 13. And I knew nothing about comedy. I knew nothing about a sitcom and the four cameras. I had always worked in more dramatic pictures. and. So it was really a different thing for me. I had to learn the beats and the timing of comedy and had to learn how to cheat out and work my angles and, and things. So I learned so much. The Ross kids are thrown into this whole new environment at Camp Kiki Waka. Um, was there ever an experience in your life that sort of changed you as a person? Yeah, I'm actually from the country originally, a lot like my character Lou. Um, so coming to LA when I was 10 was definitely different for me in a completely new environment. So I kind of get where they're coming from. You're like a fish out of water in this yeah. new place. I always loved it because I mean when you're 10 and you're like in a big city yeah. you're like this is so cool and so fun and different um, but it's changed me a lot because it's made me more open-minded to things that otherwise in a small town you might not be exposed to and um, it's just been really great I, I love the city when I first moved came out to LA for the show for for Jesse my brothers and my dad were still living in New York and so it was my mom and I and we had to make a decision like do we want to separate from the family for a little bit for me to be able to like live out my dream and be able to do that and so that that was probably a time for me that was really hard when I had to be without them and make a sacrifice and my mom also I felt bad having to take her away from my brothers and my dad for that bit of time but then once Jesse got picked up and had become a success we all moved out here and now we all live. What is the one thing you would like to cross off your summer adventure bucket list? Ooh, that's a really good question. Um, I've wanted to go paddle boarding, um, also wake surfing, I love wake surfing. I wanted to do that. And then also there's this campgrounds. I've never been camping and I'm on a show that's- kind of ridiculous. I was talking to Miranda about it. It's ridiculous you guys have never been camping. I know. And so actually Miranda and I have wanted to go together and like do a road trip and go camping. They've talked about a zip line on the show. And if there was a zip line at my camp, I would be there all the time. That would be so cool. Have you never been on a zip line? Never. I've always wanted to do it. You've got to cross that off your bucket list. Like this is so exciting. I want to. It's it looks so fun and so cool. I need to do it. Um, if you could take one prop from set, what would it be? I have You already know your answer. Yeah, I know. Um, my panda, Ming. Yeah. I've named her. Yeah, Ming. <laughs> she means, well, it's like in Chinese. I named her Bright, like Bright, like Ming. Yeah. Um, I might take my cow. Um, it, it's like I have a cow back home on the show oh. called Stan. And so that's kind of like who he's like there symbolizing almost. Ooh, I would say Zuri's Blake Shelton alarm clock. I think that would be a good thing to have because Zuri is obsessed with him and I would definitely take that home. So if you could pull out any TV or movie cast from their environment and put them here in Camp Kikiwaka, which movie or TV cast would it be? I would say I would pull the cast from The Breakfast Club and pull them here. I think it would just be really fun. That's one of my favorite movies. Actually, I would also pull the cast of Clueless because, yes. I love Clueless. Girl, like, she's so used to being glammed up and her dad giving her everything. So to bring her in this environment, I think that would be very interesting. A little like Emma, you know, coming. Right. I think that's so funny. I love Clueless. I'm so glad you mentioned I it. I watched it like the other night. It's my favorite movie. I have always loved the show Friends, so I would love to pull the Friends cast onto Bunked. That would be the most amazing thing ever. Do you know Doctor Who? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so ever since it came off Netflix, my heart was broken and still broken, but then I want it, I want the doctor to just fly in through his TARDIS and just like, what is this? Here. Yes! That yes. would be so fun. Dream! Well, my favorite show of all time is I Love Lucy, and it might be kind of funny to see what, like, predicaments Lucy would get into around here. I'd probably do that. That would be hilarious, and have your cast interact with that cast. Yes, oh my gosh, that'd be a dream. Yeah. What is the one thing you would want audiences to take away from Bunked, if you could narrow it down to just one thing? 
I'd want them to take away the friendships. The friendships on the show are so sweet and genuine, and I'd want them to see, we keep it really real. We have conflict on the show. We have moments where, you know, one friend is down and you need to help bring them back up. So I would want them to take those life lessons that we go through on the show and put them into their life and into their friendships. Don't forget to catch Bunk Season 2 on Disney Channel. I'm Cassandra Shaw reporting for the LA Times High School Insider.